Hi, this is Mark Hauser, and today is Monday. We're going to be doing the blog. Now, it's a little later than I normally do it, but we had some things that we're working on with this new project, which I you know I keep telling you about, but not really telling you about, because it's top secret until we get it all done. Now, remember, we're Property Adjustment National Association, and if you have any challenges, any concerns, anything you want to know about public adjusting, you need to give me a call. 215 4 nine nine eight six two nine that's two one five four nine nine eight six two nine okay and you want to go to adjustingschool.com adjustingschool.com www.adjustingschool.com okay put your information in i'll probably end up being calling you in a couple days after that and or if not the same day and uh trying to answer any question i can for you in, in, the, in the art of public adjusting <clears throat> Today, we're going to be talking about authority. Now, what does authority really mean? Authority means that an insurance adjuster has the ability or the authority to actually write a certain amount on a check without talking to a supervisor or anybody, just right at the location. If you actually wanted to, he could actually write you a check for a certain amount. So one of the two things that we always do is we usually ask two questions. Number one, how much authority they have in this claim? And the second one is, uh, are they independent or are they in-house adjusters? Makes a big difference. An independent adjuster, usually a little more flexible for the most part because they also deal with Chubb and other different companies which have different guidelines. So it's easy for them to blend those, those, those thoughts together. An in-house adjuster could be some young kid that really knows nothing and just uh, they're just they're just giving him some load of talking points and that's really all he knows. Most in-house adjusters are really, in fact, most most adjusters in general are, are, aren't all that smart. Uh, they're they're actually done and taught that way on purpose. So um, so that the least they know how to write on, the least they know that they are going to write on, the least that the insurance company pays. But authority is really important. When you ask that person how much authority they have, if they tell you they don't have any authority, they're here just to gather information, the first thing that comes out of your mouth has to be, I'm sorry, you can't be here. Now they're going to sit there and give you a bunch of bull about, well, the insurance company has the right to be able to. No, 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 no. The insurance company does not have the right to take away the rights of the homeowner. And the homeowner's rights, according to the policy and according to state law, is to be able to meet the person in person who actually has the authority and communicate with them directly. That's, um, it's almost kind of like, you know, being able to meet your accuser, you know, if you're in a court of law. Really similar. But the thing is, is that they don't have that right to do that. So the first thing is you need to tell them, hey, I'm sorry, you can't be here. We need to talk to the supervisor and find out if we can either get you some authority and we'll record that on audio so we have that documented and or we need to have them send out somebody else or they have to come out because we need to have somebody with authority out on this claim. And we're not going to let you screw over this, this homeowner by not allowing somebody to actually talk to them with authority. Okay? And our major reason is it's real simple. You, uh, you can judge somebody, you can, you can determine when they're, when they're lying, when they're doing different things by watching their body language and, and seeing their eyes. And, and you know, it's much different than trying to just talk to a voice over a phone. There's an old saying, I think it's an old Italian saying, you know, it's, it's, it's much easier to get rid of a voice than it is to get rid of a body. No pun intended. But it's, it's also true that you need to be able to communicate directly to the person face to face. So you don't allow them to do that to you or to your client. And you'll be, you'll be better off. Your client will definitely thank you for it. Make sure your client also knows what's really important, that um, nobody's allowed to be on that claim. Nobody's allowed to be in that house without you there. Without you there, there's no way in hell that they're supposed to be there. And they need to know to be able to tell them, and you need to practice with them. Hey, I'm sorry, let me call Mr. Hauser, and you need to get out of the house because you can't be in here. And I don't want you walking around my house. I want you to just stay on that sidewalk or sit on that porch until Mr. Hauser calls. I can get a hold of Mr. Hauser, and then 
and then he'll be able to tell you what's going on because you don't have any authority on my property. In fact, you're here illegally until I have a representative on my side. And if you don't do it, so I'll call an officer of the law and they'll remove you. Okay? That's what you need to get in the head of your homeowner. That you're their mouthpiece. You're their knowledge person in this, in this realm and they don't know anything and they're not going to be screwed over by any insurance company by not having you there. Period. End of sentence. Now, we have some really cool things that are happening. and I would say you definitely need to be involved with us somehow before January because a lot of cool things are happening and all the stuff that I've been kind of talking about but not really talking about really all on the edges of everything is going to become much more clear closer to January, but you're going to want to be part of this conversation and on our list beforehand. And it's going to be really um, a plus for you to be involved with it. Just think of viral marketing and think of a $10,000 claim that you're making close to 5000 in profit on in a, in a cap state or a non-cap state. Okay? We are being able to do that legally, honestly, morally, everything, and really make a difference for homeowners all across America. So you need to communicate with us and so that we can have you on that list so we can start telling you about the new, new and cool things that are coming our way. We're always here. I mean, uh, I had a lady in Idaho, really nice lady, and um, one of only two contractor women actually licensed in the state of Idaho to actually be contractors. And she's, she's, uh, she's a whippersnapper. She's just full of salt and vinegar. And she calls me up one day after being through our site and, and communicating and, and, and talking to us in, in different ways. And she calls me up and says, Mr. Hauser, she says, you don't think out of the box. I says, okay, what makes you say that? She says, all I can tell you is that you don't think there is a box. And she's true. We don't think there is a box. We know how to ask the right questions, and we want to make sure that you know how to ask the right questions so that you understand how to do this business because it's really important to know how to communicate and have the wisdom that you need to be able to handle claims, and we're here to help you with that. Again, it's adjustingschool.com, adjustingschool.com. If you want to call me personally, it's 215-499-8629, Monday through Friday, not including holidays, Eastern Standard Time. Great talking to you. See you next Monday. And you have a great Thanksgiving. You hear?